um, we block a significant amount of time um, for you to come from out of town in which the the patients would actually be seen three times a day for five days. So you come first thing Monday morning, we do our initial exam, and then we don't waste any time. We jump right into treatment Monday afternoon, and then it's just straight through to Friday. Um, and we love these neurointensives. I mean, I, I definitely do. I think it's super fun to spend time um, so much time with one person that you really get a good understanding of what's going on with their brain. And um, we can make a lot of progress in a short period of time. And then hey guys, welcome back to another episode of What Did the Patient Say with Drs. Dana and Lauren Brindisi, sisters and owners of Carolina Functional Neurology Center. We are bringing you inside information from real conversations we have with patients on a daily basis. We get asked the same questions and want to spread the truth on health and healing because we believe everyone deserves to know the answers. All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another uh, episode of What Did the Patient Say? With myself, Dr. Dana, my sister and co-owner of Carolina Functional Neurology Center, Dr. Lauren. Um, we get a lot of questions on our intensive programs for our patients that come to visit us from out of town. Um, so either, you know, by driving distance or you know, if they have to hop on a plane and come and see us. So, uh, we just wanted to go through what that might look like for some of you, um, and what the schedule is and how that all works on our end so that you guys can be informed. Dr. Lauren, why don't you tell us a little bit about what that looks like just from like first steps when the patients call and all of that stuff. Yeah, so we we always do a 15 minute complimentary phone consult. I think definitely for the out of town patients, um, that's a great screening process for them, for us. So we're able to answer any questions that um, you guys may have about our services, but for also for us to get a little bit of understanding of what your history is. And if we think that this type of program would be a good fit for you. Um, and then if it is, we proceed with scheduling, usually, you know, a little bit in advance. Um, we block a significant amount of time um, for you to come from out of town in which the the patients would actually be seen three times a day for five days. So you come first thing Monday morning, we do our initial exam, and then we don't waste any time. We jump right into treatment Monday afternoon, and then it's just straight through to Friday. Um, and we love these neurointensives. I mean, I, I definitely do. I think it's super fun to spend time um, so much time with one person that you really get a good understanding of what's going on with their brain. And um, we can make a lot of progress in a short period of time. And then the other thing that's really helpful for that is then we're able to better facilitate what's going on when the patient isn't in the office, right? Cause they don't live close by. There may be other ways that we can better via telehealth um, facilitate the things we would recommend at home, or if there's other providers we need to get on board, it gives us that whole week to, to really start creating a comprehensive plan that's not just about that week, but about, you know, how do we set up your progress for the long term? Yeah, I think that's a great overview. And I think a lot of questions we get, you know, at least on the complimentary consultations is because a lot of you come to us and you're not feeling well, right? So a lot of people get a little nervous about that quote unquote intensive treatment, you know, but it's, I mean, we, our patients handle it because of the way that we're monitoring you guys um, while you're in the office and we're making sure that we're pushing you to a point where we're able to create a lot of neuroplasticity without really pushing you over the edge. And so most patients are tired after, cause it is, a, it is a lot, but they're not any more symptomatic. And usually people are feeling pretty good by the end of the week, definitely seeing some symptom improvement and seeing, you know, objective changes from the things that we're looking at as the providers. Um, and then, you know, we're always looking to be able to give people things to do at home that are going to help continue their therapy. Um, and then, like you said, Dr. Lauren doing the check-ins and, and making sure that everything that they're doing at home is still moving them in the right direction and maintaining all the progress that we made. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about why we do the like 10 day check-in after the week of intensive? 
Yeah. So included in the program is we schedule, you know, seven to 10 days after um, a telehealth call to get an update. Um, we, we love doing it this way because it, it gives your brain time, right? Go home, get back to your routine, let that neuroplasticity start to really sink in because what's really interesting is um, the cell on a cellular level, those changes, um, which we talk about um, this immediate early gene response that happens, it's actually gonna elicit this whole process and create new and lasting change in brain function is really not immediate. <laughs> um, so it's gonna give your brain time for that response to kick in and there will be continued progress from the week after you leave, um, which is really fun and it's so exciting. I, I just did an intensive, um, not this past week, but the week before and I, I'm a, early next week, I'm getting on the phone with um, my patient and her mom and she did so well. I just get really excited about that telehealth <laughs> call to, to understand, you know, what has happened in that time frame um, since, since they left. Um, and usually patients are seeing continued improvement and then they start getting to their exercises and getting back to their life. Um, and then that's when we kind of make a plan, you know, moving forward to over that telehealth call is, um, what's next? How, how often do we need to be keeping up with you? Do we need to, you know, have the conversation about any other local providers we can co-manage with? Um, what other things can we do maybe from a functional medicine perspective? Are there other lab work? Is there other lab work we want to run? Um, so the, the week intensive is really heavily devoted to, you know, the neuro rehab side of this, but that's not the only piece. Um, we can start having, you know, I, at least I usually do start having further conversations on that telehealth call um, about what else do we need to do um, to keep this progress going. Yeah, I think that's a good point. I think oftentimes for these um, patients that are doing treatment this way, we definitely try and get baseline labs done in advance. And sometimes we'll even um, ship test kits and stuff to them to get some of the metabolic piece kind of underway um, before they start. So that also kind of sometimes will vary, you know, the exact cost of their treatment and all of that. Um, but that's definitely why we do the consult and, you know, so that we can navigate what it is that you need as an individual and what are, what's the best information that we want to be equipped with, um, so that we're ready for you when you come in for that week intensive. And like you said, just hit the ground running and, um, see all the, the changes that happen. So yeah. I think that, I think that was a pretty good overview and explanation. Is there anything else you think we need to let people know? Um, I don't think so. I think if you have any specific questions, I know people reach out a lot, um, via Instagram, um, yeah. and other social medias. Um, what's really helpful is if you are interested in learning more, reach out to one of our offices. I mean, just call um, and get, get some further information. And then if, um, you know, our care coordinators think it would be good to get on, on the phone with us, and that's something you're interested in doing, that's going to be the best way for us to provide you, um, individualized time, um, yeah. and be able to answer the questions that are probably more specific to your needs. Yes. And yeah, your health. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, right. guys, we hope that helps. Um, stay tuned, subscribe, like, share, follow us on our social media platforms. And if you have any specific questions that you want us to cover, um, leave us a note and we will get to that question. I think our next episode is going to be talking about POTS and dysautonomias in preparation for uh, Dysautonomia Awareness Month. So stay tuned if that sounds like something you'd be interested in. All right. See you soon. Bye. Bye.